Well, uh, attorneys, uh, let's really uh, let's tell us about who you are and what do you do and what is your passion about the statement of well, Who I really am is I'm a public servant. I believe in uh, the betterment and the improvement of the community. Mm -hmm. This certainly includes the Hmong community. It means that I want to see people be prosperous and make good money, uh, have the, all their civil rights, including immigration justice, and I know we're going to talk about that. Um, these are the essential things. The two things I want to do as Attorney General is, one, help everyone afford their life. That means afford your rent, get good pay, mm -hmm. be fee treated fairly as a consumer. And the other thing is make sure everyone lives with dignity and respect. That means stop discrimination, be treated fairly by the criminal justice system, be treated fairly by the immigration system, like civil rights, human rights for everyone. Mm -hmm. That's who I am. Okay. So as the general attorney, uh, what does the office here do for the state of Minnesota? I'm the chief lawyer for the state of Minnesota. So any legal matter the state has, my office handles that, and I lead my office. So as attorney general, any problem going on with Department of Corrections, Department of Human Services, the Board of Pharmacy, any of these organizations, my lawyers rep represent the state. But we have another very important responsibility, and that is suing on behalf of the people of the state whenever the people's rights are violated. So we sued Comcast, we sued CenturyLink, we sued Juul, you know, the vaping company, mm -hmm. because of deceptive and, and tr trade practices and targeting young people. We sue, sometimes we sue landlords who are unfair to people. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, not the bad, not the good ones, the bad ones. Mm -hmm. Uh, we, we really the, uh, one who crossed the, line, the ones who crossed the line uh, and so we just make sure that the, the consumer laws are obeyed that people are treated fair with fairness and dignity and we try to work out problems I mean we don't sue every time there's a problem sometimes we try to bring people together to mediate a problem mm -hmm. so if a business make a mistake we'll say okay we're going to talk about that but if they keep on making it and we tell them don't do it and they still do it mm -hmm. then we might have to sue them like the T-Mobile? Like T-Mobile Sprint. Mm -hmm. We didn't think that was the right, uh, we didn't think that was a good um, settlement. So we, we, challenged, we challenged it. So we challenged them. So these are the kind of things that we do. We, we try to stand up for the working people, the consumers, the small business people, the small farmers. You know, these are the things we're concerned about. And those are for the interest of the community, the citizens. Absolutely, in the interest of the citizens, of all citizens, young people, old people, middle-aged people, people of all colors, all backgrounds, fairness, liberty, and justice for all. That's what we believe in. Mm -hmm. And I believe you have done so much of the laws already. Okay, well, another question for you is, uh, as you know, besides those issues, right now we have uh, the uh, deportation issues. Very serious and, problem. And, uh, mm -hmm. So what do you stand on that? What do you, uh, well, let me what tell you, tell you do with the whole community? Well, let me tell you, we are using all of our authority, all of our energy to try to help for immigration justice. The chief deputy here is a man named John Keller. He used to run the Immigrant Law Center. And we have intervened in a number of situations to try to protect uh, people uh, from being treated with unfairness when it comes to the immigration system. Ultimately, the immigration system is the federal in nature, but we use our state authority to challenge it where, it, where we can. So for example, we're suing to stop this wall where they're diverting Mm -hmm. diverting resources from the state to build Trump's wall. Right. We sued to try to stop that. The Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, DACA, mm -hmm. we sued against that. Right. We uh, have gone in, we promoted legislation to give people post-conviction relief. So for example, if as a younger person, you got in trouble with the law, then you lead in a good life, but then the immigration says, okay, you got in trouble 20 years ago, and now you gotta go. Right. We can say, look, um, we want to bring a motion to the court and help people be able to get rid of that conviction so that they're not separated from their family. Mm -hmm. These are the kind of things we work on all the time. Sometimes it's in court. Sometimes it's advocating for fair legislation. Sometimes it's writing letters to our federal delegation. Sometimes it's suing the federal government. But we try to use all of our tools to protect citizens. So for example, in Nobles County, Minnesota, if you, you know, in Southern Minnesota, the, the sheriff was holding people in jail longer than the law allowed. 
So we sued to say you got to stop doing this. Why is that? Because he, he was trying to hold him there for the ice. Oh. You can't do that. You know, you got to be fair to people. So Senator, as a senator of the states, uh, what do yeah. you stand on the uh, deportations? Now, do you want me to speak more in English? Uh, go with the English. I'll go with the English? Yeah. Well, currently now I, I carry a bill uh, mm -hmm. to uh, petition for the, those who may, you know, have something in their past. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they may be misinformed or not informed well by their counsel mm -hmm. when they sign the release. So we, and not knowing the law then, you know, which, 20, 30 yeah, years 20 ago. years ago, right? Right. Yeah. So they might sign the law, you know, just to get out and have certain conditions. Right. So my bill is that, you know, I want to grant them another chance for petition uh, for, another, for within the period of two years. So I'm, This I'm is post-conviction relief. Post-conviction post relief, okay. yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm waiting to be, this bill to be here, heard in committee right now. Yeah. And it's already heard in the House, um, chief by Representative Mariani. Yeah, because uh, a lot of people in the community are very concerned about the deportations. For those who's now uh, home, they work, they establish a family, right? But they have a convention a long time ago. Sure. And they are, they are afraid of being deportations, so uh, they got families separate. Sure, this is wrong. I, I think we should do all we can to keep families together. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, you know, when you think about the struggle that the Hmong people have had to endure, you know, the Hmong veterans, the people who fought so hard, gave so much to separate families like that, I think it's really an insult and it's not right. 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 So we're gonna to try to stand with the people and keep families together. Yeah, and each of each of us is doing our part. You know, I, I'm doing my part in this, as a state legislator. You sure, thank and, you. And Keith will have his part to do too, as he mentioned, you know, this is very similar to the DACA issue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so, you know, uh, the governor is doing something about it. We'll, we'll make it. He made us some statement already, but yep. we're all moving there uh, toward one direction, trying to help uh, those who um, are on the list of deportation. So, yeah, so we're yeah. working together because we believe that teamwork mm -hmm. makes the dream work. It is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Make it stronger so they're yeah. more bonded to each other. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very true, very true. Yeah. Do you want to tell people so they yeah. can give us a call here? Mm -hmm. And, if you, and anybody who's listening, we would like you to give us a call to the consumer division if you feel that you've been treated unfairly, that you've been scammed, or if your wages have been stolen away, we want to stand and work with you to get justice. So give us a call. Can you say this in Hmong? Yeah, yeah. Good. Uh, uh, and I, I just want to add that uh, due to the uh, coronavirus scare, right. uh, people are rushing to purchase rice and some store are price gouging. Right. So where, who the, should they call? The Give us a call. Right here. This is the number. So I just wanted to say, if you could say this in Hmong, that um, we we won't know whether or not you're being treated fairly unless you call. So it's important to make the call. We don't just call around to find out if there's price gouging. We respond to complaints. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to make the complaint. Yeah, Tori, Attorney General, my name is Hari Thank you. Yes. Now that I want to move into you, now that you mentioned about the coronavirus, uh -huh. right? Yeah. As a coronavirus, uh, as a uh, attorney general of the states, uh, what do you recommend for these people at home, citizens? What should they do? What cannot they do? Not only that, I also want to add on top of that, 
because because the coronavirus, as you see, people around the world, they also hate crime coming over there. It's true. Yeah. Well, so let me tell you, um, if anybody uh, harms you or attacks you because you are of Asian ethnicity, mm -hmm. you got to call the police. You should also call the attorney general. We will not tolerate this. We're going to protect people. Mm -hmm. You know, the fact is, is that some people are trying to say, though, this disease comes from China. So they attack people who they think are Chinese. Right. But it's not true. It's a hate crime. It's wrong. And we won't tolerate it. So that's important to note that. Let me also say, too, that the coronavirus is a virus that, um, for some people, if you're exposed to it, you might get sick, but you're not going to die. But for some people, mm -hmm. if you're particularly older, if you have a history of, of being older and you smoke cigarettes, if you um, have uh, health problems already, mm -hmm. then you might be particularly vulnerable. And it is very important to be concerned. And uh, there's a few precautions. One, wash your hands a lot. Mm -hmm. Wash your hands a lot. You should engage in social distancing. What that means is that rather than give a big hug to somebody, mm -hmm. give them a big kiss, you know, for the next few months, <laughs> just wave at them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For the next few months, just, just tell them I love you, but, you know, put your hand over your heart, you know, let them know you care, <laughs> but, you know, social distancing. Sure. Uh, also important to, uh, to keep in mind that it's probably not a good idea to go to events where there's 250 people or more, like sporting events, these probably are not a good idea. If they're lesser than 250, you may be okay to go as long as you're healthy, but you should try to keep a safe, a, a enough distance between yourself and others. Um, and then um, if you're an older person or you might be at risk, you really shouldn't, uh, you really shouldn't uh, be in groups that are 10 or more. Mm -hmm. If you feel sick, if you're like, oh, I don't feel good, maybe you should stay home. Call the doctor. But um, it's, sometimes when you're sick, you got to go to work. But nowadays, if you're sick, maybe just stay home until you feel better. It's better that way. It's better that way. So I think they, we need some translation. Uh, oh, you want to do that in a moment? Yeah, I think so. Uh, let's see. Uh, I, you know, um, mainly just reiterate what uh, Attorney General Keith Allison just said. In, in Hmong, the show lute chao no nen nen chi to cam mo na ye ha ke ka tu so ta ta ya ta i no ta ya ta me mo ta te lo lo li ha tu me bi me ta tlang ta me ta hu ke attorney general of me hu to tu jing suan de tlang ta me ta ka tu attorney general lu go zong no la me hu zo lu department human right la yin ta to ya ye lu xiao no te ke เปตองอ่าตู่แชคโชเปตูเคนโกฮูน่ะเกนอกกางของเปตองโซเตเตนดาโซนเตาเลนดาเตาอ่าฮัดซอพลูนเจมอซอพลูพอมอทอจอน่
就那有下得好几种，在浙江这边，就不还能，就不能养活死啦。那得好几天的，呃，养，他就死得好几天，因为，呃，走都那些种的啦，啊。这生产了，因为被叫被母鸡吃啊，后来后叫那了，早起路口。嗯，早起路口，早起路口，就就发生了，就就发生。We're talking about some going to funeral home too in the community. Yeah, we brought out community. culture into forefront now about this this issue. Yeah. yeah, it's important to be careful. So and also too, you know, whenever you're washing your hands, use soap, hot soap and water. And you know, you know the Happy Birthday song. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday to you. Happy yeah, birthday. Yeah, yeah. Sing it twice. <laughs> <laughs> Sing it two times. <laughs> for, so, for those who don't know, now it's time to learn how to sing. Right. <laughs> right. But you want to you want to do about 20 seconds worth of hand washing. Right. And uh, that's that's what we need to do. Also, too, if you go and you buy a, a, a like a, like hand sanitizer, mask. Uh, if you get it, if you get a test. Because you know, for 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 um, uh, COVID nineteen, mm -hmm. if they charge you an exorbitant amount of money, like an extra extra lots of money, you gotta let us know. This is called price gouging, and we will we will respond. But we need to know this is an issue. I, we've gotten a lot of calls that the people have been wanting to get rice just in case they can't leave the house. Mm -hmm. They need food there, mm -hmm. right. and so uh, we've heard that there've been some prices that went way up and so this is something that we need people to tell us about because this is unfair and we don't we don't we're not gonna yeah, don't, use the, that. don't use the opportunity to do that yeah. don't use the opportunity to do that this is a this is a pandemic this is a serious right. problem this is a problem in the united states a problem in italy problem in china problem in iran problem all over the world mm -hmm. and it's not the moment for people to do inhumane things like say oh this is a chance for me to make a lot of money no, this is a chance to be do the right thing. Yeah. Yeah. How how to talk about back to how more back to the day of go me uh how to talk about the high Sunday to pay on down how to talk the show to pay saying like who was so don't talk to kid I was in the office that more to talk about the back to the one day down from her and she and Jay he all the last one day go to the lab and I get her no how to start that job to come up at her like a doll to talk about saying how to talk about the thing like เป็นหมวกของเราปางโจทย์เป็นสิ่งที่ทำได้อีกข้อเป็นต้นขีดหายกูนอกการเลยครับโอ้หายอีจีฮะคือจะคือเนื้อโจเกี่ยนอกการของหูนะที่สี่จีฮะสุดเกี่ยนอกการของหูเราขนมอีฮะเกี่ยนอกการของหูนะฮะเลยจีจิ้งชั่มเปลือยจะคือจอบจอบจีช่องจอบช่องนะเราจะอ่าอยู่ต่อโจตาตาอ่าอยู่ต่อโจตาตาช่องมองกูนอกกองของเราจะขอเลยเป็นจอบจอบจีช่องจอบการของเราแต่กูกูจีจอบแต่ช่องนั้นมาเป็นจริง bây giờ mua mỏ tàu ha ở à cho lô nó mà tí tàu cá mỏ ở à hoặc là cho cú là tiền tí chỉ số tàu bây giờ ha nè chỉ cho lâu trăng cú nè cho chỉ số được chỉ hai giờ tí chỉ tàu ha nè chỉ à nếu chưa ta mấy tàu từ cá mỏ này mấy nhiêu mấy nhiêu à mong là chẳng gì mà cứ à cho cứ cho chỉ số là sau để tàu từ cá mỏ từ nếu mà nhà cô cô nên xin tàu ha nhiều 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 khu nhiều chỗ là nè chỉ à cứ khó ค่าตัวจอคือฮอร์โมนน้อยงเราก็โจทย์สื่อห้าทอแต่เขาจีจีนเอาโมชิกงเราชอบโมชิกงให้หูสุดต้องสุดเลยยิ่งเต่าฮะเราอยากจอแต่ในตุ้มม้อเลยแต่ตุ้มตุ้มม้อไม่จีนถ้าอย่างจีนตุ้มแต่โดยอย่างห้าอย่างน้อยตัว yeah yeah we we really want to build our monk staff uh you know the monk staff are hardworking highly intelligent help people out believe in the public service and so we're looking for more so you know, it's uh, it's a it's a it's a challenge that we're taking on. Uh, when I got here, uh, we didn't have enough diversity. I've been here about a year, and it's a goal of ours to have more people representing the community. So, you know, that's kind of what we want to do. Um, but look, uh, so we want to make sure that the, uh, people are applying, that people know we want them here, and you know, but it's a challenge. And I just want to tell you that I'm not satisfied. I'm not satisfied with our progress. We haven't made enough progress. We need to make more, mm -hmm. and so we want to encourage people to continue to apply. And uh, this is a goal of mine to hire more monks. That and now I want I want to uh, keep this dialogue yeah. uh, on, a, on a quarterly basis, yeah. so that you can always uh, report it to the community, especially more community and other community at large, so that we we sort of know what's happening over here. Well, so we need to come back next quarter. Mm -hmm. And we'll schedule it, and we'll we'll be on in, the, in at least four times a year, maybe more than that. 
uh, there might be new information we want to share, uh, and so that would be an important thing. And you know, at some sometime down the road, you know, when the, you know all this uh, public health issue subside, you know, we want to come to the community. Right. To, this uh, is very Keith, important. <clears throat> uh, Attorney General Keith Ellison has been in conversation with the 18 Clan Council, and mm -hmm. um, we plan to host a bit uh, a forum at Monk Village so that okay. the community can come and participate and ask him, you know, question freely. So, That's right. So we're, we're planning. We're, we're planning to set that date up so that, you know, everybody, everybody will be aware and everybody can, can attend. You know, so. That's very true. Um, All right. If you don't have any question, I, I'll bump, I'll, I'll insert a subject matter. Please do, yeah. And I, I, I did so a number of times, but I want to pass, to have encouragement from sure. our Attorney General. Um, I have, I have um, opportunity in the community a lot to remind people to, uh, when the census 2020 come around, census. you know, and and I, I did so in, in in Hmong a number of times already, but mm -hmm. it's good for people to hear to hear from you from our attorney general to, to encourage. Well, yeah. if you could help me with interpretation, I will. I, will. Yeah. I want to encourage everyone in the Hmong community to participate in the census. Your information is secret. Once you give it, the government cannot share it with anyone. But if you don't give it, and you're not counted. This will reduce the population of Minnesota and will get fewer resources to be able to deal with the, the population. And mm -hmm. There are 400 streams of money that come from the federal government to Minnesota based on the census. So if you live here but you're not counted, that's going to weaken our state. So we need you to participate in the census. Everyone should count. Everyone should matter. So participate in the census, please. So it's more like you, you, your body is here, but you're not existing. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's exactly true. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, and the census um, is different from slightly from vote. Voting is people who are eligible to vote. Right. But the census is everybody. Everybody. And you shouldn't Babies. be afraid to do it. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, you know, we're talk we'll just talk about uh, those who may be uh, on the list for deportation. Mm -hmm. This is where we show, <coughs> confirm that they're a good citizen and they have family members, mm -hmm. you know, extended family that are here. That's how we prove that, you know, we can't be sent back now because we have family here. Right. You know, so uh, it's important to participate in the census. And I'm going to shift it to Mong here, sure. uh, Attorney General. Uh, so, um, อ่าตัวซูเมเตโกซูนิสตูปังโอฮันชิดานะฮาโกจะทัดจอฮาปังโอฮันทองนะอ่าจอคือโฟนะเอเมซันตาฮอลูนะเมโมโจเซนเซน
I encourage, you know, I the other day I have a chance to um, uh, speak at the 18 clan council. I said, I, all, you, all you clan leaders, why don't you each of you get a job at the census? <laughs> you know? And each, donate your money to organizations. Yeah. Each Hmong leader just well, get a job know, and then you have your family, your clan to fill it out. Well, you know, it would allow you to talk to mm -hmm. community members. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm to put your hand on the pulse yeah, yeah. of what the community is mm -hmm. feeling, what they're thinking, what they're going through. It's a very good way to engage community. Mm -hmm. So I hope that people participate. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, kids, uh, attorneys, uh, taking off your time. Ah, thank you. So thank much you. Your time and, thank uh, you. I want, uh, we will continue to talk more in every quarter. Yeah. And uh, you can come, we can come back, you can update about uh, things that you have done for the last quarter here for the community. Well, I accept that offer, and I thank you very much. Help me uh, hire more Hmong staff. Okay. Uh, make sure you wash your hands a lot. There you go. And uh, participate in the census. And call us if you have a problem. ในตําบลนี้ที่จะเล่นอย่างบนมุกเปเทียอ่าในตําบลมัวฮะแต่ตําบลซีเรียเจลุกว่าชินจานจังตุยูโลโลวะเผยตุยูโลเลยจะเอ